Let's head off into town. Check and see what the population looks like and traffic looks like. And then towards the end of the video, we'll show you where to get uh, groceries here in Quartzsite and fresh produce. We're heading out here. You see the water back there? Yeah, we had a pretty good rainstorm last night. And uh, there was actually puddles, and I think the washes might even ran a little bit. See another puddle there? Okay, as we head out on the main drag in La Posa South here, you can see towards the back here where I camp, uh, it's still a lot of open space here. And uh, plenty of room for people to camp. You just got to drive a little further back in. Some people don't like driving, you know, a couple miles, two and a half miles on a gravel road. Someone had asked me earlier about the uh, tent camping and if it was filling up around the uh, the vault toilets and stuff. Well, as we come up on this one right here, you'll see there's still a lot of open spaces. You have to camp within 500 feet of a vault toilet if you don't have, you know, a toilet and running water in your rig right there. And you can see there's some open space around there within 500 feet, definitely. Someone camped right across the road right there. It looks like they got a little shower tent set up. And uh, the coyotes have been kind of unusual this year. They've been coming in camp more than I remember them doing it last year. So, word to the wise, you know, be aware of that. Keep your pets on a leash. Watch them after dark. Make sure you don't let them uh, run after, you know, run around at all on their own. As we move up a little closer here to the uh, dump station and uh, trash area and stuff, uh, uh, traffic's fairly light on this day, you know, there's not a lot of people in line. Of course, we all know during the show that changes. Um, as the population gets crazy here and all the other uh, LTVAs come here to dump, Dumpsters right there on the right. The dump station on the left there. You see one guy dumping over there at least there. One in line. Schoolie in line there. And a uh, guy with his uh, quad pulling a, a blue boy, I think. Yep, he's pulling a blue boy. <laughs> you can see the road's still a little wet from uh, last night. It's keeping the dust down. The sky's so clear today. All right, we'll leave La Posa South here, and this is the entrance right here. We'll jump back out on uh, US 95 and uh, head north into town. Approximately uh, two and a half, three miles into town on the road here. La Posa Tyson Wells across, or T Tyson Wash across the street there. All right, we're at the first light here at Tyson Wells, and the bridge here is what goes over I-10. Tell you what, I think we need to put the drone up and take a look at Tyson Wells so you guys see what it looks like right now. And uh, when we look at it in the future, I'll try to launch from the same site, and you can see what it looks like when the show started. So back to the corner here. And you can see... On the right-hand side there, there are some vendors set up, but you know that'll be packed during the show. Every square inch will be covered with vendors and people. Off to the left there are some more of the permanent vendors, and that, that uh, open area over there, that is where the big tent will be. And you can see now they started bringing in RVs, fifth wheels, and Class A's to sell over there. 
Here's Rice Ranch. They're uh, talking about, uh, I guess this is going to be like a, a luxury or a higher end uh, RV park here. They've been doing work on it. They put some palm trees in. Uh, they've had some heavy equipment in there. They built a wall in front of it, a brick wall. And looking towards Skadden Wash down this way in town. Just a beautiful day out. It was chilly, but sky was clear. Good solar production day. And you kind of see the size of size of quartzite here. I guess I've never done this shot before, have I? All right. Looking to the north there. There are some vendors set up just across that next bridge there. Um, right over uh, on the corners there where they weren't last year. And there's also an RV sales place on Main Street this year that I don't remember from last year. Could have been there. I could be wrong. Back to uh, Tyson Wells here. Um, few people still going in there using it. It's still early though. It'll really pick up after Christmas. Again, those uh, they're bringing the RVs in. That's a sign the show's not far away. Because it takes them a little while to get all those RVs from. Uh, RV Lifestyles, I believe, this is a company. RV, I can't remember. I'll have to check that again and update you on that. I also wanted to go over today where you can buy fresh produce and groceries in Quartzsite. So let's go take a look at that after I land the drone. Hey, who's that old guy? He's waving at you. <laughs> How are you guys doing? All right. First stop is a produce stand. This is right at uh, the corner by Discount Solar on Main Street. And we'll go inside there and check it out. Uh, I bought about four bags of produce there yesterday. Uh, see what they got. This is Shirley and Ross here. This is their produce stand here. Let's see what they have here. Got a little bit of produce. Try to keep it in there fresh. Looks like we got some fresh oranges, apples, tomatoes looking really good. Some lettuce, celery, some radishes, my favorite. Sweet potatoes, potatoes, yellow onions, red onions. Some cantaloupe, some lemons, cabbage, jalapenos, red pepper, green bell peppers, carrots, zucchini, green beans, cucumbers, avocados, and they look fabulous. I got some of the green beans myself. I, I left here with about three or four bags myself. So if you're looking for fresh produce and quartzite, this is the place. The prices are very reasonable, as you can see. And uh, Ross will even tell you a joke or two. <laughs> <laughs> Another place to get groceries in town is Coyote Fresh, and where I like to get my breakfast sausage and a lot of my meats I get from them. Friendly staff in there. Uh, another place is uh, the Big Market. Uh, liquor, hardware, a little bit of food stuff in there. Then there's uh, Roadrunner Market, which is just a couple blocks away from Coyote Fresh. They have a pretty good deli in there, too. A little larger selection in that store. Another place you want to check out is Ken's Discount Grocery for canned goods, coffee, things like that. They get two locations. That first one was at the show, and this one is uh, right by KB Tools off Main Street. And here's some pictures for y'all. Hope y'all enjoy.